What are your thoughts on this statement? Anarchism is to political philosophy as skepticism is to epistemology. <laughs> yeah. Within political philosophy, it's essential. It has been essential in the history of Western political philosophy for sure. So I'm thinking like, for example, Descartes' you know, method of doubt. So how do we know anything? How do we know whether we know anything? Well, let's try to doubt everything that we believe so we don't admit any untested assumptions or whatever. Let's, let's destroy all, you know, tear down the foundations and build anew so we can be assured that our beliefs are justified you know, or as close to true as we can get them. So that's the function of skepticism within epistemology is to test knowledge and theories of knowledge, to press on them. And I think this is, and I really think it's function, anarchism has functioned just that way in political philosophy. So it's really kind of funny that so much Western political philosophy is concerned with the justification of state power. So you're, you know, you're Hobbes or Locke in the 17th century, and I mean, a lot of people, I think, believe that there were no anarchists in the 17th century. OK, mm -hmm. I mean, so like if you're looking at histories of anarchism, they might start with uh, William Godwin or Proudhon or something like that. Right. So well after that. So if there are no anarchists in the 17th century, what are Hobbes and Locke doing devoting their whole careers or a big chunk of their careers to justifying state power? Yeah. in the face of apparently anarchist objections. Mm -hmm. First thing I want to say is there were anarchists in, in the 17th century, probably more than we know even, mm -hmm. because we tend to get repressed uh, often, but there were definitely religious anarchists in the 17th century. So I think you can't understand Western political theory at all without thinking about anarchism at its foundation in some way. Like the foundational questions only come from anarchists, right? Like why is that okay for you to arrest people or for you to fine people or for you to take people's stuff or whatever, right? So if no one is pressing those objections, then Western political theory is actually kind of incomprehensible. So I think like even for Hobbes, even if he thinks it's just obvious that the anarchist alternative is so much worse, yet he's spending you know a good decade trying to grapple with it and, to, and, and implicitly taking it very seriously indeed. And so I think like skepticism in epistemology and anarchism in political theory run very in parallel. They're the objections that are needed to develop a theory of knowledge or a political theory, I guess, within just within the Western tradition.